everyone. I wanted to read you guys a story. Um, as we all know, the holiday of Sukkot is coming up and we're starting to learn what we do on the holiday of Sukkot. And so I wanted to read the story to you called Tamar Sukkah, written by Ellie Gelman, illustrated by Catherine Janus Khan. Tamar looked at the sukkah in her backyard. She had helped to build it just that morning, and she was very proud of it. Still, something wasn't quite right. Something was missing. It wasn't the walls. They were made of beautiful brown cloth and seemed to reach the sky. It wasn't the branches on the roof. They were leafy and green and gave the sukkah a wonderful smell. Tamar thought for a minute. I know what's missing, she said. She ran inside to find paper and crayons. Carefully, she drew round apples and colored them red. Then she cut them out and pasted a green loop of ribbon on each one. But when she tried to hang the apples in the sukkah, she couldn't reach high enough. She was just too little. She would have to get help. Danny lived next door. He was seven. What do you guys think? You think she's gonna ask for help? Maybe she's younger than seven and he's taller and he could reach. Ah, he could reach high enough to hang the apples. That's kind of him. Danny took out a chair and climbed on top of it. He stretched as high as he could, and soon all the bright red apples swung above his head. Perfect, said Danny. It looks nice, said Tamar, but the sukkah still isn't quite right. Something is missing. What do you guys think is missing? Look at her sukkah. She has walls, she has stuff on top, she has some decorations. What are we supposed to do with our sukkah? Danny thought for a minute. I know it's missing, he said, and he ran home. I wonder what he's gonna get. A few minutes later, he came back with a piece of poster board and a box of markers. He drew a brown sukkah with red apples hanging from it and leafy branches on top. Then he took out the green marker and started to write words in Hebrew. Baruch atah, he started to write. Then he stopped. He wanted to put a blessing on his poster, the one to say when you sit in the sukkah, but he couldn't remember what came after Baruch part. He would have to get help. I wonder who he's gonna ask. Shelly lived across the street. She was nine. She would know how to write the Beracha, the blessing. Shelly took the marker and copied the blessing from a, from a door. Then she wrote in English, Thank you, Hashem, for this happy holiday when we sit in the sukkah. She and Danny hung the poster on the sukkah wall. Beautiful, said Shelly. Perfect, said Danny. It looks nice, said Tamar, but the sukkah still isn't quite right. Something is missing. Shelly thought for a minute. I know what's missing, she said, and she ran home. She came back a few minutes later with a white tablecloth. This sukkah needs a table, she explained. Here's the tablecloth, but I couldn't carry the table up from the basement. I need some help. You think they're gonna get another friend that lives on their block? Let's see. What do you guys think? They found someone else, right? It's just three people, three children. Shelly, Danny, and Tamar. And now I see a fourth, a fourth person. Ari lived down the block and he was 11. He was strong enough to carry the table. 
Ari and Shelly lifted and pulled and carried the table up the basement stairs and across the street. Danny and Tamar brought chairs. When they got the table set up with the white cloth spread on it, they were very pleased. They were happy. Great, said Ari. Beautiful, said Shelly. Perfect, said Danny. It looks nice, said Tamar. But the sukkah still isn't quite right. Something is missing. Guys, what do you think? Friends, what do you think is missing? What do you think she's thinking of? She's trying to figure it out. She doesn't know what's missing. Do any of you have a guess? Take a second and think about it. Let's see what she was thinking of. Ari thought for a minute. I know what's missing, he said. He ran home and came back a few minutes later with a bag of pretzels and a bottle of apple juice. Asuka is much more fun if we eat inside it, he explained. But we didn't have any paper cups at home. Maybe Rachel can help. She lives next to the drugstore. That's like a, a pharmacy. She can buy some cups and bring them to the suka. Let's call her. They're calling another friend to come help. Rachel rode up on her bike a few minutes later with a package of cups. She poured the juice carefully. Looks like they're picking flowers from a garden. Soon, everyone was busy munching pretzels and drinking apple juice. Fantastic, said Rachel. Great, said Ari. Beautiful, said Shelly. Perfect, said Danny. It's terrific, said Tamar. Now I think the sukkah is quite right. Nothing is missing. It has walls and a, and a roof, branches and decorations, a table and chairs, snacks and juice, and friends. A sukkah full of friends is quite right. It is exactly what a sukkah should be. Such a nice story. They all helped each other to make their sukkah beautiful and they all enjoyed snacks in their beautiful sukkah at the end. I am so excited for the holiday of sukkah and to continue to learn about what the holiday is about. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.